Another lesson from my neighborhood. Oh, hi there. If you're hungry like me, when there's no food in the house, cause your mom's three jobs don't pay enough. She spent all the grocery money on overdue rent. Three weeks late. Come on, don't be blue. Here's what you can do. First you grab a big glass of water, then you drink it really fast. And the hungry feelings will go away, and you'll feel better fast. Come on, it's delicious! You're feeling so weak, there's nothing to eat, and you wonder if you can make it. When your tummy growls, don't go on the prowl and steal a snack or treat. Unless you want trouble with Officer Pete. But if you find that you're hungry, it's bound to happen, I bet. Try swallowing air like this. <gasps> then go to sleep and try to forget. forget little things, Every time. like your keys, oh, no. putting out the bins, Valentine's Day, Mom! Lou Roll, no, you said that you bring your money, <laughs> umbrellas, the batteries in your smoke alarm, <laughs> remember, <laughs> test them every week, change them every year, push the button, not your luck. Another lesson from my neighborhood. Do you know how to tell if mom is overdosing on drugs? If your mom shoots dope every day like mine, you can only help her if you know the signs of an overdose. An overdose? Yes, an overdose. Don't call the ambulance if you're in doubt Unless she shakes uncontrollably or foams at the mouth That's an overdose Okay, that's an overdose mm -hmm. That's an overdose You could find her on the floor or find her in bed And if you know what to do she won't end up dead Of an overdose Really? Yes, an overdose I don't know. The signs of danger are simple to see. If she's twitching and seizing and can barely breathe, that's an overdose. Yeah. That's an overdose. That's an, an overdose. overdose. Mom always knows best.
Start smoking now. Another lesson from my neighborhood. Shootouts can be very dangerous. So when you're walking down the street and find yourself in the middle of one, don't run. Instead, duck, dodge, and roll. If you hear gunshots and you don't want to die, gotta duck, dodge, and roll. Yeah. You'll have a better chance of staying alive if you duck, dodge, and roll. Okay. Don't be like Bobby who lost his head. He ran around in circles and now he's dead. If you want to stay alive, do this instead. Duck, dodge, and roll. <laughs> if you hear a hail of bullets from a semi-automatic, gotta duck, dodge, and roll. Remember as you run away to keep your moves erratic, gotta duck, dodge, and roll. See how that worked? There's just one thing to do when you gotta get away. Keep bobbing and a-weaving, there's no need to be afraid. Cause this is not a drill and you're not an anarchy. Just remember, duck, dodge, and roll. Duck, dodge, and roll. Duck, dodge, and roll. Tommy started chatting online about two months ago. They really hit it off. They had so much in common and shared a lot when they chatted. Tommy took such an interest in Lisa that when he asked her if they could finally meet, she didn't say no. There's just one thing Tommy didn't share with her. He was an internet predator. Don't give out personal information online and never ever meet someone offline. Think how much you use your hands. Most fireworks can cause serious damage to hands and arms. Many of these are at family house parties, often a result of messing with fireworks and sparklers. Make sure your fireworks are legal and follow the firework code. Never put sparklers in the hands of under fives. Always keep a safe distance, and most importantly, if a firework fails, leave it alone. Use your head or lose your hand. Came in, heart attack. 5'9, 300 pounds, 32 years old. How the hell does that happen? Fire! <laughs> Can I get a. Uh... Could be developing diabetes. You have to make a change. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're graduating! <laughs> Watch TV. You won't even have to leave. You can't do this. Yes, can I get a... You got no uh, deep dish? You have to make a change. Good job, Jim. You got an A+. Plus. I can't believe you give this child such choice. I know, but it's the only thing that'll make him stop.
difference. I thought he'd be home by now, but you know Jordan. Yeah, sorry, no, Mom. One sec, someone's at the door. Hello, Mrs. Lewis. Yes? I'm Officer Taylor. Your son, Jordan, was in a crash. And has died. What happened? Jordan died. He wasn't wearing a seat belt. He was ejected from the vehicle. I'm so sorry for your loss, man. Mom, are you there? Mom, is okay? Hello? I'm so sorry. This one is number 670-455. Isn't it cute? If you could only be with me. Yes, our kids are available in many different sizes and colors. Whoops, I hear just now that white is sold out already. Thank you so much, everyone. It's such great fun to see that our kids are so popular with you. So, hurry up and reserve your own personal kit right One operator 901, where's the emergency? 127, been there. Okay, what's going on there? I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. This is an emergency yeah. line. Uh, large with half pepperoni, half mushroom? Um, you know you've called 911. This is an emergency Do you line. Know how long it'll be? Okay, ma'am, is everything okay over there? 
Do you have an emergency or not? Yes. And you're unable to talk because... Right, right. Is there someone in the room with you? Just say yes or no. Yes. Okay, um... It looks like I have an officer about a mile from your location. Are there any weapons in your house? No. Can you stay on the phone with me? No. Uh, see you soon. Thank you. Tobacco company show you images of what life would be like if you smoke. They tell you tough, hard-working people smoke their cigarettes. Cigarette. That's your look cool, hip, rebellious. That smoking makes you independent, beautiful, and mysterious. But the reality is that you can end up looking like this. If you think trains will stop if they see a car on the tracks, you're right. They will. About a mile after they hit you. Stop. Trains can't. Look at your face, and your hands. Oh, it's still getting worse. Is it your allergy? There were peanuts in the brownies, right? Peanut butter. Oh no, I forgot. What? She asked you. Call 911, so sorry. Okay, okay. Every six minutes, life-threatening food allergies send someone to the hospital. Always avoid your allergens, and talk to your doctor about a prescription treatment you should carry for severe reactions. Learn more at faceyourrisk.com. It was nice to see you again. Yeah, great to catch up. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you share that banana bread recipe? Oh, sure. It's, it's actually my mom's banana bread recipe, but it's pretty foolproof and it's super easy. Oh. Well, I appreciate it. I know your mom is a great baker, so I should be good. Um, the trick is to grease the pan really well. And use overripe bananas. That's my mom's tip. Okay, good to know. I can't wait to try it. So, so thanks again for the recipe. I'm Larry, and I used to be a smoker. I want to give you some tips about getting ready in the morning. Learn your name. Then wig. Then your head and wig divide. And now you're ready for the night. What are you doing? Nothing. Couldn't sleep. I... You're smoking. I thought we quit. No, I'm not. I'm making myself a sandwich. <coughs> Get it? 
Goodbye. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW to create a plan and double your chances of quitting. Look at me, busy as a bee. Where'd I get all this energy? Oh, man, mm, man. I don't sleep and I don't eat, but I've got the cleanest house on the street. Oh, man, mm, man. Get these hairs all out of my face. Get these bugs all out of my place. One more hit, no time to waste. Oh, man, mm, man. It's nice when mommy strokes my hair at bedtime. But she doesn't read goodnight stories for me and Emily anymore. After dad puts us to bed, she sometimes comes to kiss us goodnight. She smells a bit funny when she kisses us, but I like it anyway. Mom used to play with us after school. But now she's tired and needs to relax when she gets home from work. Dad has to go away a lot with his job and I have to pick up Emily from daycare a lot of times now because Mom is really tired. And the other day I couldn't find Emmy's raincoat when I went to get her. She got all wet because it's a long way home and Mom started crying when she saw us. One day, when Mom brought me and Emmy shopping, she was driving strange. She crossed the red light and she hit another car when we parked. Maybe I shouldn't have told it to Dad, because he got really upset with Mom. He told her that he was scared to leave me and Emmy alone with her, as she might do things like that again. Mom and Dad's friends don't come to our house anymore. I miss playing with their kids especially Jennifer. Last time we went to see her and her parents, Mom was really happy. She was singing and dancing and hugging everybody. But then Dad wanted to go home. Mom got angry because she didn't want to go, and they were yelling. On the way to the car, she fell and hurt her knees. I wanted to help her get up, but she just shouted at me. Mom and Dad kept arguing when we got home, and I couldn't sleep. When I got up to go to the toilet, I heard Dad say that he might have to take me and Emmy and move away, unless Mom gets help. Mummy, and I don't want to leave her. I think we should stay here and help her.
Lullaby and good night. Whipping roses be dying. Bless lilies, oh spread. It's my babe, please please head. Soft and warm. It's all your bed. Close your eyes and rest your, your head. Lady down. Now at rest. May thy slumber be. If your chip pan catches fire, don't panic. Just follow these instructions. One, Turn off the heat. Two, run a cloth under a tap and wring it out. Three, cover the pan and then wait until it's cooled right down. Don't try and move the pan, and whatever you do, don't throw water over the fire. The effects can be devastating. Looks like rain again today Dark clouds gather and fill the sky Don't know how to talk to you Just know how to say goodbye Have you actually got a driver's license? I've let you out again, if they, you worthless little cow. Come on in. Let the card read. Check the three. <laughs> I, I don't know what it says, all right? You okay? Here, here, 20 quid. Run, you me money! You worthless little cow. Let the card read. I, I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Give me money! Worthless little cow. I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Money! My name is Mandy. I can sing and play games. Will you help me? <laughs> You tell me all your secrets. My best friend Ellie tells me hers. Her money comes into her room and punches. 
punches her and 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 punches her. Help us be there for children. Visit thereforthem.com. Help us be there for children. Visit thereforthem.com. My name is Jacqueline Saborido. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver. Before the car caught fire. Before two of my friends died. Before I needed more than 40 operations. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. Let paint pour. 
poisoning affects over 1 million children today. Dust from lead-based paint could cause violent behavior. If your home was built before 1978, log on to leadfreekids.org. At least two-thirds of men and women in the UK are overweight, and the rates are still climbing. Obesity has life-changing impacts on the body and can slowly lower your quality of life, increasing the risks of coronary heart disease, Hypertension, type 2 diabetes, exhaustion and depression, and even cancer. Foods with high fat and sugar content rot your organs and encase them in fat, while you slowly eat yourself to death. You have a choice. Make the change. Where's, where's dinner? Well, I thought you'd be home a couple of hours ago and what, what, I put what, everything what, away. What, so what I is this? Pizza? What, I, I, a pizza? If you had just called me, I would have dinner, known what Dinner ready is a pizza. I didn't know you'd be so late. Let me ask you, you something. Is, is it I, I, too much? To have dinner waiting please don't be so when I go loud. home. Please don't be so loud. Don't show me what to do. You shut up. I thought you'd be home. I can get here. pizza at work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll do I something better. I'll, I'll fix You'll you do something, something better. Let go of me. Get in the kitchen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow, it hurts. Do you want to see what hurts? That's what hurts. That's what hurts. <laughs> now get up and clean up this mess. <laughs> Shut up! I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet. Oh, honey, how's work? Good. What would you like for dinner? Oh, oh. Just a second, honey. I need to take care of something really quick. What? Can you fix this for me? Now listen here, you ungrateful little brat. You're gonna start showing your loving mother a little respect. Ow, ow. Let's go. Ow. Outside! <laughs> Thanks for ruining my important phone call! Don't do anything wrong. Stupid hoo! 